Hey, you guys know the stream is down right now, right? We're working on it. He's working on All it. All right, cool. Just making sure. It's up, but it's also like. I was going to say, I could hear myself for those two seconds when we were up. But we're going to pretend like it is, and we're just going to talk like... We're going into game here. All right. Oh. Is it's, it streaming? Looks like it's trying to. It's, it's yeah, it like. All right, well, I can hear myself on the stream, so let's go. Yeah, I hear you too. It's All right, guys. Welcome to the PMA LCS. We are having some technical difficulties. We're, we're get, trying to get this worked out. But for now. We're going to be loading in the game. We got some time before the game loads in anyways. Got the spectator delay. My name's Michael O.B. Opich. And with me, I have Packer Die Hard 12, Alex Higamba. Boo. Hey, sorry, I just butchered your name. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's all right. It's hard. It doesn't sound as good. But tonight, we've got the Tilted Torpedoes versus the Chase Squad. And we've got some names switched around and some substitutes coming in, so it's going to be a giant mess, but we'll just go through this real quick. So, band wise we've got the Urgot, Malka, or Urgot, Yore. Chogath, it looks like away from the Wilbrooks, and then just QQ33 is. Sayado, who is a monster York and new Urgot player. Gragas, Kennen, and the Galio bands coming in as well. So very tank heavy band, it looks like on. But in the top lanes, we're going to have Guy Fieri as Maokai going up against Nasus, just Q33, also known as Sayado. We've got Lucida in the jungle on Kha'Zix. I am Gert on the Seishwani, also known as Bukaki Poro. It's, just, it's not the actual Gert, <laughs> just to, not to confuse people. It's not, not the real Gert. <laughs> uh, and then we got... Xanakis on Malzahar in the mid lane and the Will Brooks on Lux. Allergic to Milk's playing the Callista versus Gnarls Barkley's and pretty good record in the LCS, but I think Rakan does as well. So we'll see how those matchups come out. Seeing as Callista has been very strong lately. But overall, it's gonna be a fun match. What are your I but it seems like my Discord is kind of cutting in and out a little bit at times. So if like you ask me something and I don't hear it, um, I apologize if I don't respond. Gotcha. But um, I'll try and just, just keep it rolling. About team comps or some things that or what I was looking for. I'll tell you what I'm thinking. Sorry. 
cut off again right after I No, started. you're all good. I'm thinking that... ...with the Maokai going on, and the Rakan for that. But overall, with especially with, you know, Kha'Zix and the Malzahar, and then the, you know, single target lockdown of the Maokai sort of pick comp going and looking to do just make those rotations take out a lane take an objective whereas the chase squad seems to have a very team fighty comp that's just my opinion on that yeah to me like okay so Rakan Callista is a really good lane uh Miles Zahar um is well I, I don't know a whole lot about Miles Zahar early game um, but I'm, I think he'll be able to do just fine. I don't know if he's going to be able to like have kill threat on the Lex. I mean, he can see ult on Lex. But... And then Maokai top is uh, not as good uh, early lane as it used to be, but he's still pretty good. And so what I see is a lot of like easy lanes for the Kha'Zix to roam around and get. So this whole turns out, but you know. Have some pretty good distance. So, you know, especially with you know, with Ash and Jana, very good at that, and then Lux Q as well. But you do have a Nasus on your team, so you're definitely going to probably be trying to get the split push game going on. We'll see how far that Nasus can get ahead. Yeah, um, I think when we get to late game. Uh, Chase Squad definitely looks like they want to be the one that's moving. Is totally bogus. Which I think they're hoping that the Lux can kind of air? like buffer that early game and mid game out so that way they can get to that late game so Nasus can have his effect. So Juani can just be super tanky and jump in there and then you can get that Ash damage online as well. You're bumming me out. You know? I really And we've got our first pause of the night. Make that first pause of many. Yeah. Looks like we got a, a bug splat on the side of side of John it looks like but good this gives us a little but yeah it looks like they going pretty standard fan out so far with just how the teams are going so we're not gonna see any crazy early games unfortunately those are always fun makes the games a little more spicy yeah not gonna be, it doesn't look like there's gonna be any raids. <laughs> All right, but as I just want to talk about the bot lane matchup a little bit, just because it's gonna be a pretty hard lane. A summoner is very strong right now, and Rakan just being able to dive in, plus giving the shields, is he's pretty good right now. So we got a Kalista that's jumping around hard to lock down as it is, just dodge out the tornado, and they can just keep engaging. And their engage is very strong, whereas you've got an Ash who. more it's to be able to either poke them out, out volley or just keep them at bay and because Janet doesn't provide a whole lot of pressure early yeah neither of the, the ash or so <laughs> that's their only escape tool um Rakan shouldn't feel like they need to be worried too much about being pushed up most of the time. At least, 
this morning was this and in this mid lane matchup lux the main after my own heart. I love that looks pick. But the nice thing about that into a Malzahar matchup is even with Malzahar's like passive shield, <laughs> she can still get that little bit of the extra damage just with, the other, with the auto attack. Look at the damage the thunder. Yeah. Any, any spell, the light work is proc and an auto attack it just does an insane amount. Everybody's still gonna have all of their summoners, nothing burned as of yet. What I'm gonna be looking for in this top lane. The Mao guys are just gonna have to put a lot of pressure on to this Nasus. They're both gonna be very good at, you know, regening their health bars and staying healthy just with both of the Mao passive and Nasus passive and just getting those stacks. And we got a little action in the bot lane. 